Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do um, a reading for you here on Thanksgiving. If you are in the United States, um, happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So off camera, what I got for you guys shuffling was blessings, honor, peace. So I don't know what that means for you. I don't know, you know, if you have, you know, been a part of all three of those things, blessings, honor, peace, um, or if you are striving to have, uh, to see, uh, in your life, any of those, then this message could possibly be for you. So let's see what this is about. All right. Um, let's see what the Aquarius is dealing with. Whoa. Okay. Um, the Ten of Cups, the Chariot. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. So it looks like some of you are at a place of um, extreme abundance. Blessings, honor, peace. Honor would be in the Chariot also. Some of you have really gotten in control, mastery of your emotions, uh, your thoughts. Just because you think it, you don't say it. Just because you think it. You don't act on it just because you feel you feel a certain way doesn't mean you need to go after those emotions. You understand that emotions are whimsical. I mean, you're just in control of you, Aquarius. The Ten of Cups of uh, family dynamics, uh, friendships, all type of relationships could be going very well for you at this time. You could be collaborating with a, a friend or a friend may come to you with a business venture idea. It just says, look over documentation, look over the details, but it could be very fruitful, profitable for you. If not a friend, it could be an associate um, someone that is in business, the wheel of fortune, things are changing for you. This is a time of good fortune. The wheel is turning in your favor. Things are aligning for you to actually take opportunity, take position, um, take, um, uh, Take the lead on some things, move, make movements, make plans, act in them, act accordingly because the stars, the universe is aligning so that you, um, everything is fortunate for you. Everything goes in your favor. So if you are doing nothing at this time, Aquarius, the cards are asking you to get involved in your life for you are the co-creator in your existence. So continue to move, continue to uh, press forward. It looks like some of you are having victory because you actually decided to move forward. Uh, you, you, you have for a lot of you moved yourself, your relationships, your business, whatever it may be, the business of you in a new positive direction that is now offering you victory, victory over, uh, shortcomings, obstacles. You no longer have to deal with such because you have mastered something within you. What is this about for the Aquarius? It could definitely be career finance. It could be love and romance. It could be all of the above. I don't even want to clarify this. Um, nothing but good cards coming out for you. What can the Aquarius expect? What can the Aquarius expect moving forward? What can the Aquarius? So this says that um, the nine of cups. Wow. Your hopes, your wishes, your dreams. It also says make a wish. It could very well come true. Uh, the nine of cups is about what you're hoping, wishing for, right? So that means that you, there's something that you're without. You also have found emotional stability alone. You're not depending upon, it's not an external thing for you. You have found emotional stability by yourself. Maybe, um, not being in a relationship or not being in a committed one or a very intimate, vulnerable one. Um, this is self-reliance altogether. You have found uh, enjoyment, uh, peace, you know, uh, serenity in uh, the simple things, the smaller things in life, uh, life's luxuries also with the nine of cups here. Um, you can eat what you want. You can go where you want. You can buy with you what you want. You can indulge. You can engage in whatever it is you want to do because you are at that place and it makes you feel good. Um, and you have found emotional stability here. in something that you, um, you are doing, you have done. Uh, it also could be sex too. You have taken your feelings or your intimate feelings out of sex. If you are having sex, it is just an act for you. Um, 
you know, physical exertion. Some of you are exercising. Um, some of you are, you know, having really good sex at this time with the nine of cups here. Uh, or you can expect that. You can expect romance, sex, uh, good times, fun times, good, good drink, good food, all of that, you know. Um, here in the States, uh, Christmas, if you celebrate, is coming up. Uh, Yule, all of those different uh, seasonal activities and festivals and uh, different times of the year. So there will be a lot of giving. Um, and you may be receiving Aquarius. So you also may be the giver here. Um, so you are finding um, elation, happiness, and just being able able to do whatever it is you want to do able to give a able to even receive you know the knight of swords here coming out some of you could be making a move really quickly you could be trying to move make a move either in your career uh this is definitely career with the knight of swords uh there's also an air of persuasion someone can feel as if you are walking away you're getting away so they have to do something to pull you drag you reel you back in now the knight of swords is not a big planner nor is he or she willing or over the moon about commitment they most times are commitment phobes so this person just wants you in their energy right now uh, because they maybe see how valuable you are to them or this is you Aquarius this is what you're doing to someone else uh, so it feels as if somebody is getting away, you or the other person. So somebody's going to do something real big on a big level, the grand scheme to get you back, to pull you back in or say something that's monumental. Um, but that's the plan, you know, that, that is the plan to get you back. It's not to change. It's not to prove to you. It is just that. So keep that in mind, uh, Aquarius, what? What is the Aquarius not seeing in their life right now? What is Aquarius not seeing? The Ace of Cups, wow. You have opportunity for uh, new love, romance. Uh, also growth in spirituality, studying spirituality and uh, religion also. This is also that maybe, I don't know, you or the other person, someone here in, in a dynamic, a duo, one of you loves the other more you know there's an there's an imbalance or the, sometimes this could also be loving someone who doesn't love you they don't love you in the same way in the same capacity their love for you is different and it's for a different reason so this could be loving someone who doesn't love you the way that you love them also um the ace of cups this is also opportunity opportunity to reinvent yourself um this is new home again this is new friendship new love if that is what you're looking for but do know that the aces need nurturing cultivation so you're gonna have to put work behind this it's a one card so you, you're definitely going it's opportunity it's opportunity for growth what should the Aquarius be focused on? You got the strength card coming out. Could be dealing with a Leo. If you are not, um, you need to be focused on, on, on being strong in terms of standing your ground. In terms of uh, intimate relationships, sex and intimacy also. Maybe you, you need not confuse the two. If they were the same thing it would be one word it would be sex intimacy no no spaces you know so um they are two different things they're two different words they mean two different things um so you, aquarius don't confuse the two understand someone's intention uh even if they don't speak it outright to you understand by way of their actions be intentional in everything that you do it's so funny as human beings, we can be intentional when we, we sign up for university. We say, okay, I've got four years. I wanna be out of here in four years or under four years. Uh, and I wanna have my degree and I wanna do this. 
So I am going to stay focused. And that is the intention when you enter university. But then when you meet John or you meet Sally, nothing. You're drawing a blank. I, there's no intention. There's, I'm going to date Sally for four months and then I'm going to make her my girlfriend and then I'm going to be girlfriend and boyfriend for six months and then I am going to um, ask Sally to move in with me or pop the question which one ever comes first there's no intention behind meeting another soul and we have to start moving with intention especially if you are over a certain age it cannot be We'll just see what happens. We'll see where it goes. Or it can't be fun in the sun. And then six months down the line, you wake up and say, you know, I'd like to be your girlfriend or I would like to be your boyfriend. You know, if that's not how it started, then that's probably not how it's going to finish. So you have to be intentional in everything that you do. Uh, you also be strong, be strong enough to admit, be, be strong enough to be compassionate too with those who just don't understand. Um, be, yeah, be, be compassionate with those who they deserve, you know, um, ill treatment, unfair treatment, harshness, but draw from your compassionate side because uh, once you learn compassion and justice, then you have that kind of Christ-like consciousness. You have moved from base consciousness you know you understand that it's not the person but it is the personality it is the environment it is the conditioning you know so you, i don't know you, you you really have to understand what's going on here and, and not just look at it in a very um selfish or even linear type of uh scope it has to be kind of, um, I don't know, curvaceous. It has to be, <laughs> you have to look at this, you know, across the board, you know, a larger scope and, and not just see that you're hurt and this person did it. You have to look at the why, when, and where, you know, all of those. So anyway, that's the strength card for you. You also uh, need to be strong enough to admit Strong enough to let the guard down. Strong enough to, um, yeah, remove the veil of mystery. You know, say how you feel. Yeah, the devil card coming out. You have to be strong. Also, you have to resist temptation. Somebody could be trying to tempt you with good sex. You know, um, again, back to sex and intimacy. Do not confuse the two. Someone could be trying to tempt you with riches. You also need to be strong enough to not spend all of your money, especially if you do celebrate this holiday season. You need to have a budget. You don't need to go over. The The devil card actually says, um, do not be extravagant in your choices because the devil card is a choice. It reduces to a six, which is a choice. And it also talks about balance. So when you see the devil card, there's something, there's an imbalance, you know, something is off. So, so uh, trying to keep things in balance for you, for yourself. Um, materialism, okay? Addiction and obsession. Someone could be addicted to you, obsessed with you, obsessed with the idea of possessing you, of having you. You think it's you. You think that they're in love with you. You think that the control and the domination is love, but it's actually obsession addiction they have something about them that you don't control you maybe don't even understand fully and maybe they don't even understand themselves whomever this person is to you or whatever this is to you but uh, it's about getting to the root cause here and understanding the root so that you can then um, determine if you want to kind of uproot this all right, lastly, lastly for the Aquarius, the advice. What's the advice for the Aquarius? What's the advice? Two of Cups here. Forgiveness. Somebody was, wants to let bygones be bygones. They want forgiveness. Okay. Oh, yep. Judgment. It's also a two card. 
So you got two, 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 22 can be significant. This card is coming out the magician and they'll say anything to get it. This is a very powerful man, you know, good job. Well-spoken could be a salesperson or just knows how to sell themselves. Um, <clears throat> this person definitely wants forgiveness, reconciliation. They want a second chance. They want you to make some snap decision about coming back together. They don't want this to be long and drawn out. Um, they don't want the theatrics. Uh, they feel like they deserve this or they deserve you. Um, they're going to take action. Uh, they're they're going to take uh, matters into their own hands here with the magician card. Uh, someone could feel as if you're the one. They're having a hard time. Um, really manifesting this, really manifesting a real relationship with you, manifesting you back also. So that is the advice here. Um, you have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, somebody, somebody really wants to get busy with you. I don't know if they feel as if this is how they keep you. This is how they keep you bound. The Devil card, they keep you stuck. Yeah, and someone feels with the four swords at the bottom of the deck, this is just a temporary separation. You guys will be back together. This will be back on. It's just a, a temporary separation uh, for you both to think about what the future looks like. And um, with the four of swords here, there was suspicion of another person so maybe you uh or, or there is another person here there was heartbreak there was alienation and isolation so somebody said you know what i don't want to feel that way anymore i don't want to feel isolated and alienated from you i don't want to feel heartbroken and uh, i don't want to feel heartache so let's separate but someone here feels as if it's not real and with the four swords being upright it could possibly be a temporary separation and you guys will come back together um, let's see what this is about. Lastly, I don't know why they got me pulling all these cards. The four of cups could be dealing with cancer, queen of pentacles. Um, someone, uh, is upset because, um, not even upset. They're withdrawn, have no emotions because they didn't see the gift, the blessing that you were or, or vice versa. You didn't see this. Someone's also feeling rejected because the queen of pentacles is not giving them the time of day, not speaking to them, not talking to them. Aquarius man, you could be trying to manifest someone back. Um, there's no sexual activity because someone is with child. Yeah. Um, Someone's really trying to make something happen with you. They want to do something with you. They want to throw, they're throwing their hat in the ring now. They're, excuse me, they're activated, motivated towards getting you back. They may have experienced rejection from you or vice versa. You may feel second stream with the four of cups. But now you're getting back to understanding your worth, your value. Understanding that you're a good catch. And some relationship is going to come into a more committed way of being. What is this about? You have Page of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. Someone wants to offer apology and a more healthier way of dealing with you. Maybe they know they dealt with you in a very unhealthy, unsatisfying, unfair way. And uh, they, they possibly want to come back to you. someone saying, I get it. You know, I, I understand it. But they're coming at the page of pentacles. They also could just be saying something to you to ground the energy. Because see, the energy is, is whimsical. It's up and down. It's hot and cold. So maybe they may be saying something that really puts you in a place of thought. They could be saying something that is thought provoking. That kind of relieves all of your anxiety. So that's about, you know, that's, that's grounding, you know, when you are at a place of peace. So they could be trying to make peace with you. 
Could be a Gemini. Could have Gemini highly ex aspected. The Devil card, uh, Capricorn. It could be anybody. You got everybody on the board. Water sign, air, all that. Um, this person, they're waiting for, you know, they feel as if um, they've given up agency. You know, they were waiting for you to speak to them. Yeah. But now they're coming towards you because they see that you're filling your own cup. Definitely somebody wants you back. They may have an ulterior motive, especially if it's a Piscean. They want forgiveness. They want to reconcile. They want to come back. You see that you're working on things or that you're getting things together in terms of business and career finances, that you're being very prudent with your money. This could be a relationship that where you guys go over and over again with this. You do something over and over again. The only thing is that this person is coming up as the king of wands and the king of swords. Very independent energy. This is typically the eternal bachelor. This is somebody who could be single forever and they would be okay with it. He's all, he's somewhat like this, but he's more committed when he wants to be committed. King of Wands. But when they, either one of these guys commit, they do commit. It's going to be a hard time getting them to actually commit. Uh, somebody does have ulterior motive. They could be jealous. The cards want you to know that somebody could, you know, you bringing this energy back into your life could kind of derail good news for you or delay good news. Someone is highly emotionally immature and they play games, manipulation, manipulative games. They tell lies. They're deceitful. There's trickery with them because they don't know how to deal with their emotions. I'm going to leave it there. Um, you've got a lot of good things coming in for you, Aquarius. We started off with these were the initial cards, uh, the Ten of Cups, Chariot, Wheel of Fortune, nine of cups and ace of cups and then we got into the the madness okay so you you study you study on this this is what you have for yourself and what you have you know made for yourself do know that there's someone trying to come back in and throw a monkey wrench in your life for whatever reason it, it could be just fun for them if you feel like this resonates for you like share comment let me know how it resonates for you down in the description box um, now not in the description box, but in the comment section, thank you. Catch me here every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday night, 9 30 PM Eastern standard time, where I do a collective reading. And then I answer your questions. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. You can also, uh, get a text, a question. Is this person right for me? Are they toxic? Am I toxic? No one has ever asked that question by the way. Um, you can text questions like that to the number below, pay for your question, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also just go over to the website, book your own reading there. All links are below. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you.